Welcome back to my boat. The copper coat sanding project has taken far too long. The reason for that is because copper coat is an epoxy based product and the epoxy is embedded with atomized copper, meaning metal. The product sheet recommends that you sand the epoxy down with 320 grit sandpaper. That's somewhat akin to trying to drill a hole through stainless steel with a piece of bamboo. In the end, I upgraded to 80 grit sandpaper, which worked reasonably well and didn't take horribly long. And then the last little bit, I was so tired of sanding, I upgraded to 60 grit and was just very careful not to grind through the epoxy into the undercoat. But it's done. Uh, it looks kind of brown, but it should work. So come and have a look. So this is what it looks like. It looks like a nice light beige color with darker brown freckles. The darker brown freckles are where the uh, copper coat had a bit of orange peel in it and the sandpaper wouldn't get down into it. Um, in some cases where I tried to get down to the orange peel, I ended up going down to the Interlux Interprotect, which is not a good thing. I'll, I'll, I might, I might recover just a few spots where I went through and then re-sand them um, with just one coat and then one light sanding. But we'll see. Come and have a look. I'll show you. So this is the sanding job up close and personal. You can see the gray is the Interlux and Protect. The, the light beige is actually what it's supposed to look like. And the dark is where uh, the epoxy is still intact without exposed copper. The product sheet says it should kind of look like about like this. So some spots are perfect. Other spots are, are not good. But I'm just going to leave it like that for fear of uh, taking off too much copper coat. It's only about 12 mils thick, so you don't have a lot of room to work with. In the interim, from the time I bought this stuff till now, they've come out with a, a new improved manual on how to in, paint this stuff on. When I first got it, I actually phoned the company and they said that I did not need to sand the Interprotect underneath, that I could just apply the copper coat over top. Well, that's not the case. I should have sanded the Interprotect until it was smooth and for two reasons. One is it makes the sanding job after the fact a lot easier, or it would have. And the other factor is that when I was putting the copper coat onto the unsanded interlux, it basically just smeared around. At the time I thought, well, it's just copper coat. It's kind of an odd product and it is probably idiosyncratic when you're putting it over uh, over top of another layer of epoxy. But copper coat has since revised their advice and now they're saying that you should sand the interprotect to prevent it from smearing. But nevertheless, I've got my copper coat on. It is sanded. Uh, for the most part, the copper has been exposed, and I expect that it will repel the nasties like I think it will. I've got a couple of bits left, like the the uh, rudder mounts. I'm going to attack those with a scratch brake pad rather than sandpaper because it's just you know, like trying to get around the nuts and in the in the small spaces um, will prove to be problematic with a a power sander. So with that job out of the way, that's the last thing I need to do to the boat before it can go back in the water. I've actually contacted the the boat mover guy and this coming Saturday we're going to put the boat back in the water. So there's a number of things I need to do before we do that. I need to sand the transducer and install it, which isn't a big deal. It's only maybe an hour's worth of work. And I need to put my tiller back in place. This here is my tiller. It came with the boat when I bought it and when I took it off I noticed that the, the laminate 
has come apart and since then it has really come apart and it's kind of split right up to the top there so today's job I'm going to expose the faces of the wood sand them down and epoxy them together that shouldn't take too long and uh, then I'll have a functioning tiller which I need to install so I can steer the boat once it goes back in the water because I've got to steer it up to the place where I'm going to put it It'd be kind of funny to put a boat in the water without a means of steerage wouldn't it so let's make it happen Managed to get epoxy on the o ring, and that needs to come off. Okay, so what I'm doing here is sanding my transducer. Now, um, when I painted it, I simply put it in the pot of uh, copper coat, and the epoxy got underneath the wheel, and now the wheel is fairly stiff. But as I work it, it's loosening up some, so it should be okay. But in the meantime, I need to sand it down to make it nasty proof. <laughs> 